Welcome to beautiful Beijing, China. And today we have the 2023 all new long range ES6. I'm very excited to talk to you about it today. Neo's strategy with this model of the ES6 is to price it more competitively, make it more widely available to people than the previous version of the ES6. So the low end model of this will run you 336,000 all the way up to 396,000 for the long range version, which is the one we have here today. The ES6 priced at this range is definitely a real competitor for the Model Y, particularly the long range in that the ES6 has better features, an overall better design, and just an interior that absolutely smashes your expectations. The previous ES6 definitely looked good. In all the ways that it could be improved, they have definitely made it look great. From getting rid of all the plastic to giving this a real premium feel on the front, to making the car a little bit wider and making it look a lot more sleek and aggressive. They've done an excellent job of making this model of the F6 look absolutely beautiful. Some of the design changes that I really like are the slim down headlights, these sensors on the top add some personality to the roof, and then this waistline here just gives this car a really well thought out design feel. Continuing to highlight some of the differences between the previous models of the F6, the paneling has been moved down here, giving the rear a more clean and polished look. Uh, the halo light here has been extended across. There is a recessed wiper here to clean the back windshield, uh, which is both convenient and looks good because you don't have to always be seeing that. And an antenna on top looks like a shark fin. I like that design. The first thing that you notice getting into the ES6 is the interior looks absolutely pristine. And of course you have the infotainment screens here. The infotainment system is powered by the second generation Banyan system, which is Qualcomm and Nvidia chips to make everything run fast and smooth. So right here we have our 40 watts wireless charging system. This is also something very convenient. You have your gear shift down for drive up for reverse and you can change your driving mode here. Just press the button, emergency lights, and lock the car. Neo's interior design involves a low saturation color screen. So you have the grays and blacks, uh, and also this heather gray plastic paneling. It's an absolutely beautiful design and one that I think is easy on the eyes and easy to just get used to where it blends into the background and feels good. The mid console box opens from either side. And this is an interesting feature because it just shows you some of the thought that went into designing this car. The ES6 is a car that really gives you an interesting little creature feature here for your passenger. This is a queen seat. It lays all the way back into the back seat. Some cars put that in the back seat. This one put them in the passenger side. And if I sit right here, I can make this seat go all the way back into a supine laying position. There we go. Let me not have my belly fall out of my shirt. Oh, that is, that is, that is comfort. The seat lays back quite far, which is really comfortable and it even supports your back. So I really like this seat. The back seat features an adjustable back, which doesn't have a lot of range of motion, but it is an added degree of comfort. There's plenty of headroom and plenty of room for your feet. And then also you can adjust the seat, this seat uh, with this little panel here. You have your seat adjustment that you can push your seat forward here. Uh, the passenger seat, not the driver's seat, that would be terrible. Uh, and then you can also change your music, uh, also volume up down and adjust the AC as well as activate your seat heaters, which interestingly can do back and your bottom seat. That is fantastic and on both sides. There is plenty of trunk space for you to get the utility out of your sport utility vehicle. There is about 570 liters of storage here. Plus you have uh, the ability to change how much you need to put in this and some hidden compartments down here. And one of the features that I think is most necessary in an SUV is the seats do actually fold all the way down flat. So that way you can fit just about anything here. We've already done a video on the Neo Autonomous Driving System, so we'll go ahead and link that in the bottom right description so you can watch it there if you want to. Um, there is a lot of sensors that tell you where other cars are, and that is displayed on the screen behind the steering wheel. 
Uh, it's helpful for the driver and also informative. The S6 definitely has more of a comfort over sport feel on the suspension. Um, it is rather soft, so you don't really get the firmness that you would expect um, in a sporty car. Also, in the city where the road infrastructure is not always the best, um, you don't feel every single bump in the road, so the dampening is set to more comfort as opposed to performance. Beijing is a city where drivers communicate with long blasts on their horn, and Neo continues to do a good job of giving you a cabin that is quite quiet, but of course not dangerously so. You can still hear other drivers on the road, you can hear when they're honking, but it is not loud, it is not obtrusive, and that is really nice. Also, when other cars have really loud exhaust systems, uh, that noise is dampened to a point that is comfortable on your ears and comfortable when you're driving. The sound system for the ES6, particularly at this price range, is not particularly impressive. However, it does do a good job, it sounds good, and the surround sound and being able to change some of the different features is really nice because if you're watching a movie or something like that, it can do a really good job for theater sound. But overall, it's not very impressive. The ES6 builds on its previous models in both improving the overall design and by dropping the price, it really, really impresses us at this price range. This is a car that I think is going to sell really well. And to that effect, in the first three days it was released, it sold over 30,000 units. So not only is this car going to sell well in China, I think there's also a good chance that it's going to be able to sell well in Europe. There are a lot of features in this, from the battery swap to the really clean and minimalist interior that I think is going to make this competitive in even European markets, and I hope to see the sales numbers that reflect that.